In this video, I'm going to show you how to use LLMs locally, this time thanks to the Olama project. Before we start, make sure you have installed Docker and have Portainer running, as I will show you how to deploy Olama through its UI, and then we will try the Orca LLM. I will give you some extra tips to get the most out of Olama as well. In the Olama's website, we can browse the free LLMs that are compatible at this moment with the project. We can choose any of these models, which come in different sizes, to fit from our consumer hardware to powerful cloud servers if we want. Olama is an open source project, and just in the main page we can see that we can make a direct installation. But the project also comes with its own created container, which we will use right now, so no Docker files this time. Let me show you the Docker Compose stack, the only thing that we will need today to deploy Olama. You can see that we are referencing the Docker image at Docker Hub with the latest version and that we are using the default 11434 port to interact with the Olama and the models. Let's go to Portainer Stacks and create a new one with our configuration. As of now, the latest Docker image version, it is 0.1.17. You can choose a specific version if you want. Now we can go inside the deployed container and check Olama's version, which is 0.1.9, and list the available models. For now it is empty, but let's give it a spin with the Orca LLM. The Olama run command will download first and then make available any LLM that it is listed in the project side. You can run Falcon, Code Wizard, Llama, and the compatible model list grows over time. Now this is one way to interact with the models through the Docker container terminal. Let's make the Orca model some question. And this is it. Here we have the Orca model replying to us. Let me show you in real time the task manager so you can get a feel of the speed on my laptop. The answer sounds pretty legit, right? While it completes, let me explain you other way to interact with Olama, as we can also do it through a curl command which make it accessible through HTTP requests. Just make sure that Olama is running and then call the REST API with the HTTP request like this one here, which will give you only the response part of the full output JSON. In this case, I have selected not to stream, so we will get just the final reply from the Orca explaining what it is Docker as an example. And yes, I said a second way because there are more possibilities to use Olama. As you can see, there are other projects that are being built on top of it, from chat UIs, vector database with MindsDB, even possibility to be plugged into LogSeq, which if you didn't know, it is a privacy-first knowledge base. Let me quickly show you a third option to use Olama. This time with Python, thanks to Llama Index, we just need literally three lines of code to interact with LLMs. Just remember to have Olama running with your desired LLM, pip install llama index and you're ready to go. Let me know in the comments which particular integration of a llama with logsec, home assistant, or any other you want to see for the next videos. Projects like Olama are worth exploring as they are truly making generative AI accessible to everyone. And while Orca LLM tells us what it is a vector database, consider giving a like to the video if it was helpful. And share, don't forget to share with others what you've learned.